So, if I understand correctly, Marilla, you're saying the knee reversal hex is best because it makes it hard to stand up? Or kneel? Or sit? Ugh. I'm glad you are you were listening for one, spirits. And is Melza... Th is Melda thinks Densorgio is better because your teeth growing makes it harder to say incantations? And probably eat or brush teeth? Hmm. Should I use smaller words next time? What, uh, will that help you understand, Andre? Come on, spirits. Just tell us which one wins the argument. Is it me or is Melda? Or it's a tie. I am not picking sides. Okay? I can't favor one over the other, so both your hexes are personally the best. Honestly, I think it's a tie. The knee reversal hex is brutal, and Den Sorgio is useful in duels. Oh. A tie? This <laughs> Melda's snooty face. We ask you for one thing, Amzy, and you can't even do that? Oh, pathetic. It seems this debate didn't work out, which might actually be best for me as I have another solution. Are you tempted? Perhaps you two could sign up for the Dragon Club's re Dragon Relay and duel it out. Ah. You'll be able to work out your frustrations and declare a true winner. Dragon Relay? Does this have anything to do with you and Kaplan breaking that statue? Yes. It does! We're holding a fundraiser so that we can buy a replacement. And why would we want to help you? Professor McGonagall threatened to revoke everyone's club privileges if the statue doesn't get replaced. Fine. I'll join your stupid dragon relay. So will I, but only to beat Marilla in a duel. Fantastic. I appreciate it. That's one club down, Cursebreaker. Great job. Which means I only have one left to talk to. Hippogriff Club. Researching glum bubble bumbles. <laughs> Can't talk. What on earth is glum bumbles? Oh, you're here? I really should just go to the Owlery. Hi, MZ. Good luck with your mission to replace the Dragon Club statue. Watch it, Emsy. Gathered some people, too, just like you asked. Brilliant, Tonks. Thank you so much. We've got good old Charlie Weasley. Hi, Emsy. Nice to see you at Hippogriff Club. Hi, Charlie. Good to see you, too. And then we've got Barnaby Lee. Emsy, hello. You're here in Hippogriff Club. Hi, Barnaby. I'll get right to it. Dragon Club is holding a fundraiser to replace a broken statue. If we don't replace the statue, then Professor McGonagall will, rev will revoke everyone's club privileges. Dragon Club is my primary club, so you can count on me being at the fundraiser, Amzy. Mm. Knew you'd come through for us, Charlie. What about you, Barnaby? There's... There's a dueling event. Sorry. I can't. Is there a reason? Is something wrong, Barnaby? He's been like this since I got here, but he won't tell anyone why. You all think it's silly and laugh at me. Everyone always does. We won't laugh or we might laugh. No, we won't, Barnaby. I'll make sure of it. Barnaby, I promise that we won't laugh at you. Normally, I'd say I can't make that promise, but I'll let this be the exception. You're our friend, Barnaby. We won't laugh. Well, alright. Since you promised... Come on, Barnaby. Just tell us what's bothering you. I've lost my lucky socks in this room, and I couldn't possibly compete in anything without them. Is that all? We can help you find them, Barnaby. Everyone spread out and keep an eye out for Barnaby's lucky socks.
Abby, I think I found your lucky socks. <laughs> That's it. Those are my lucky socks. You're a lifesaver, Emsy. <laughs> no problem. <gasps> Wait, the I just let lo I'm, I'm sorry, but just the way we're looking at each other right now. This is actually cute. Now that Emsy's found your socks, will you join the dragon relay? Oh, Definitely! Uh, Diego better watch out for my dueling skills. That's fantastic to hear. Now that I've got members of Sphinx and Hippogriff Club on board, the dragon relay can move forward. Professor McGonagall is going to be so surprised by all the work you've done, Emsy. Tonks, you're a genius! Of course I am! But what for this time? If I tell Professor McGonagall about the fundraiser, she'll see how serious Diego and I are about fixing our mistake! It's decided! I've got to go talk to Professor McGonagall about the Dragon Relay! What can I do for you, Miss Spirits? And Mr. Kaplan? Your message mentioned the Dragon Club. Diego and I are here to tell you about how we plan to replace the statue that we broke. Oh. It is a foolproof plan. The amazing Gwenick Jones helped us put it together. I will be the judge of that, Mr. Kaplan. If it's alright, Professor McGonagall, Diego and I would like to pitch our idea to you. Of course, Miss Spirits. Let's hear your idea. We plan to have three separate events for our fundraiser based on the core parts of Dragon Club. To represent Defense Against the Dark Arts, we'll have an event where participants can uncurse items. Then, for Quidditch and Flying, we'll set up a miniature race through the Quidditch hoops. And finally, a dueling event, a safe one, of course, that will be carefully monitored. We've already gotten members of Sphinx Club and Hippogriff Club to join as participants. What do you think, Professor McGonagall? It's a good idea, no? It's a respectable idea. In theory. However, what will you do if your fundraiser doesn't work and the statue doesn't get replaced? We'll keep trying or it'll work. Well, when in doubt... Then we'll keep trying until the statue gets replaced. Indeed, nothing will stop us from completing our task. Interesting. What's that, Professor? I was once quite lenient with a club. In that particular case, the honesty of the club members is what saved them. In this case, it seems your tenacity may be what helps you. Does that mean we can hold the fundraiser? It does, Miss Spirits. Oh yeah, let's go! We got a professor permission! Yeah! I love that we both cheered at the same time. <laughs> However, the consequences remain. If you fail to replace the statue, club privileges could be revoked for everyone. We understand, Professor McGonagall. Good. Best of luck then, you two. You have a lot of work ahead of you. Come on, Diego. We've got to go set up for the Dragon Relay fundraiser. To the Dragon Club room. Alright, part three is done. We have one more part to go. Part 4. It's time to get ready for the Dragon Relay. Will you get enough money to buy a replacement statue? And just where is Gwenig? Yeah, where, where, yeah, where has she been? It's been a while since I've seen her. Hello everyone. Diego and I have called you here to help set up for the Dragon Relay fundraiser. With your help, this fundraiser will be monumental, stupendous. Ether... Ethervescent. I don't know how to pronounce that last one. It'll be the best fundraiser Hogwarts has ever seen. Ah. We'll make sure of it. That's a lot of expectations. It is. But if we work hard, then we'll meet them all. 
You need a positive mental attitude, Jay. Once you have that, you can conquer anything. Take it from me, Diego Kaplan. Okay, let's do it then. What should we start with? I was thinking we could divide and conquer. And set everything up all at once. Tonks and Jay can work on setting up the Defense Against the Dark Arts event. Is it weird that I'm excited to handle cursed objects? Not if you like a bit of danger. I knew Tonks and Jay would get along well. Andre, I'd like you to check that Quidditch hoops are in good condition for a broom race. Huh. On it. I'll make sure they positively gleam. That leaves me and Diego. We'll work on dueling event to make sure it's safe and nothing gets broken. Fantastic! This will be the safest dueling arena that Hogwarts has ever seen. If anyone needs any help, just ask. But if there are no other issues to resolve, then let's set up for this fundraiser. All the events are set up for the Dragon Relay. I'm so excited we got it all done. And it is even better than Diego Kaplan imagined. It is a true treasure that we have put together. Huh. I'm just glad I didn't curse myself setting, those, uh, setting up those cursed objects. That would have been unfortunate, but also hilarious. I just hope everyone likes the events we put together. Huh. They'll love them. You're right, Andre. They will. Mm. Now that we're done setting up, I've got a question. Fire away, Andre. What are what event are you most excited for, MZ? Dueling, flying, or uncursing objects? Ooh. Tough choice, but mm. Ever since the bludger was uncursed, I've been most excited for uncursing more objects. And to learn the spell all together. It'll be good to brush on my defense against the dark arts skills. Wait, aren't you in the same year as us? Uh, and to be fair, I haven't learnt any spells yet. I'm not sure I could choose. I'm excited about all of it. Same tongs, but, this, but the choices force me to choose one. Uh Spoken like a true Dragon Club member, the spirit of adventure guides us all. A true Dragon Club member. Hey, wait a minute. Where's Gwenig? Yeah, finally we're asking, like, where the heck she is and what she could be doing. Mm. Haven't seen her since I was last here. The last time I saw her was when we were brainstorming at the Three Broomsticks. <gasps> Same! Blimey! I've got to go find her! We can't put on the event without her! I'll check the three broomsticks first, since that's where we last saw her. The fundraiser was her idea, and Dragon Club members stick together. Madame Rosmerta truly does make the best butterbeer! I finally got Bilton to leave and check on his shop. Oh, okay. That's why I know the name Bilton. I feel like I might meet him later. Dennis and I are just getting something to drink before we go to the Dragon Relay. Can Toads drink butterbeer? Is it safe for Toads? Gwenig, I've been looking for you. The Dragon Club room is all set up for the Dragon Relay. Smashing, Emsy. I knew you could pull it off. Thank you. Diego and I had some help. But what are you doing here? There were some issues that I had to deal with. It was all very boring. You didn't miss anything. And who was that man? Yeah, he was all dressed in sus. Oh, him? Mm, just a friend. A sus friend will like it. He looked a bit... dodgy. I could say the same thing about Jay. 
But at least he doesn't dress sus or dodgy. It's nothing to worry about, I promise. But stop worrying, MZ. You're much too young to worry about every little thing. Well, I'm also a curse breaker. Of course, I'm worrying about, like, cursed vaults and my brother and all that. Come, tell me about what you've been up to since we saw each other last. I want to hear everything. Ooh, boy. Where do I even begin? You've been quite productive since I saw you last. I've been quite busy getting the other clubs to join, talking to Professor McGonagall, and setting up the fundraiser. I've got a few Dragon Club members together to help put everything together, and it looks fantastic! The power of cooperation, a most valuable trait for a dragon to have. You're quite the leader, aren't you? How did it feel to be in charge of setting up the fundraiser? Felt great or a lot of pressure? Mm, honestly, personally for me, leadership isn't my strong suit, and I personally not lead a material. So it was a lot of pressure. It felt like everyone was counting on me to do my best. What if I had messed up? Leading a group can be quite stressful, but someone has to do it. I'm sure you did wonderfully. Leadership is also an important quality for a Dragon Club member to have. Is there anything else on your mind, MZ? Well, now that everything is in place, we're just missing one thing. What is that one thing we're missing? Let me guess. Gwenig? You are? What are we missing? I was sure we thought of everything. But what if it's not a thing? You, Gwenig! This fundraiser wouldn't be happening without you. Well, of course not. I wouldn't miss this dragon relay for all the galleons in the world. I'm glad to hear that. Well, what are we waiting for? You're right. It's time to head back to the dragon club and kick off the dragon relay fundraiser. There's no way I can lose when I've got my lucky socks. Ismelda and I have decided to settle our debate as you suggested. By duel. Good job. Uh, thanks, Raph. Never thought to hear you say that. Blimey! Uh, blimey! You two have done a fantastic job setting this fundraiser up. And it looks like everyone is enjoying it. We've also raised a decent amount of money so far. Only one thing left to do, dragons. What's that, Gwenig? Did we forget something? Everything is perfect, MZ. Who do you think we have to thank for that? It's all thanks to you, Club, or me. It's all thanks to you, Gwenig. If you hadn't suggested a fundraiser, we wouldn't be here holding one. I gave you the idea, but you and the Dragon Club are the ones who put it all together. True. So it was pretty much a team effort. The only thing left to do is... Join in on the Dragon Relay! Of course! We gotta have some fun! I will be headed to the Dueling Arena. It is time to show off my technique. And to no one's surprise, I'll be at the flying event, showing these kids how to soar like a professional. You don't think that's a bit unfair, since you are a professional Quidditch player? It'll build character! Now stop worrying about everyone else and go enjoy yourself, MZ!
Professor McGonagall! I wasn't expecting to see you here. I asked her to come as the fundraiser was ending, so she could see all your hard work. Miss Jones was insistent that I be here for the announcement of how much money was made. She seems quite confident that you've met your goal and the statue will be replaced. As I said before, Professor McGonagall, we'll keep trying until the statue is replaced. So you said the last time we spoke. Let's tally up the money then. There's not enough money. Oh, we didn't make the we didn't make the goal. How much do we have? If we're if we are supposed to reach three hundred galleons, how much do we have? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? That's not possible. How many are we short of? We're fifty galleons short. Oh, just fifty? No, we're not giving up. I've got two galleons right here. Okay, so that's now 48 galleons that we need to ra to raise to the goal. And <laughs> now we're only 48 galleons short. Can anyone else spare some money? Oh, I think everyone else is out of their pocket money. Club privileges are going to be taken away, aren't they? Well now, wait just a minute. I do believe you're forgetting one final donation. Mine! Do you have enough galleons uh, for the goal? Gwenig? I was impressed by Dragon Club's determination to stick together in the face of advers adversity. It reminded me of my time as a Dragon Club member, and how much this club meant to me. So, my donation to the Dragon Club is... A brand new replacement statue! No, you didn't! You fixed it! What? But how? That sus guy! He probably gave you the spell to fix it! I may be rubbish at charms, but I ace transfiguration, top of my class. So, you just transfigured a broken statue. Why haven't we thought of that? <laughs> so, while you were all out of Dragon Club, I had the statue replaced and transfigured it to look broken. Oh, that is sneaky. If you had the money to replace the statue this whole time, then why did we put on the dragon relay? Yeah, what are we going to do with 252 galleons now? It was my way of bringing the club together when it was almost split apart. Well then, that means Dragon Club is saved, right? And everyone's club privileges? That would be correct, Miss Spirits. The statue has been replaced. Club privileges will not be revoked. Yay! We did it! Kind of. Then, what should we do with the money we raised? Keep it and put it towards Dragon Club. It might be nice to get a rack of brooms for the clubhouse members. Yes! Re reinvest back into the club. Thank you, Gwenig. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm not done yet. I've got one more gift for you and the Dragon Club. I got the speeder bat for you to hang in Dragon Club. It's signed by me and the rest of the Holy Harpy and the rest of the Holy Head Harpies. I got the speeder bat for you to hang in Dragon Club. It's signed by me and the rest of the Holy Head Harpies. I I don't know what to say. Promise to remember the important the importance of sticking together, even when the odds are against you. I promise, Gwenig, I'll never forget. And thank you for saving Dragon Club. No, Amzie, 
Thank you for embodying the spirit of Eventia and taking care of my favorite club. Now, one last time, let me hear you roar! Is McGonagall going to roar? Roar! Ah, I done it! Woo! Now, all I have to do is try to get through the year storyline without any more sudden special adventure quest interruptions. But knowing that is going to happen a lot. I might have to do most of these off camera.